Why, hello there, everybody. Hope you're doing well. I feel like I'm already getting to the point where my pool of video ideas running low. But, you know what? We'll power through. We'll make something work. I'm pretty sure we still have half a year before NHL 24 comes out, so... We're in this for the long haul. Now, it's no secret that in my franchise videos, or I guess I don't really do franchise mode at the moment, but in my drafts, seeing a 22nd place team make it into the playoffs grinds my gears a little bit because it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, division and conference-wise, it does, but I just don't think it should be like that, personally. I'm not saying this is how it should be either because this also makes no sense. I'm basically just abolishing divisions and conferences. So one of the first things I would like to direct your attention to is that Calgary is going up against the Boston Bruins instead of the Flo Rida Panthers. And that is because Calgary actually finished 16th in the league. Florida was 17th. So the way that I did this is Boston and Calgary, obviously the first place team, Boston won the President's Trophy in a record setting year. Who saw that coming? But they're going up against the Calgary Flames who finished 16th. So... Already you can see it's one extreme to the next and then we sort of just narrow in. So Carolina was second in the league and then the Islanders were 15th. So there you go. And then we go back over to the right. New Jersey was third, so on and so forth. So with that being said, let's go ahead, simulate the playoffs and find out what happens in this format where divisions and conferences don't matter. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a way to actually go to a calendar view and simulate a whole week, which makes sense, I suppose, because we're not really one specific team. So I'll just simulate the whole first round, not the whole first round, sorry, all of the first games, and then I'll give you an update. So apparently we're the Boston Bruins. I mean, it doesn't really matter because I can't change lines or do anything anyway. I'm just simulating, but that's weird. Don't know how that happened. So I don't remember selecting a team in particular, but anyway, here you go. We've simulated past the first game of every series, and the only two series, actually, that are the same in real life is Toronto-Tampa and Carolina Islanders, so other than that, it's totally different. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to do an update after every single game, so what I'll do is I'll sim the entire first round, and we will see who moves on. Actually, I just realized it shows Connor over on the right side now, so I have no idea what's going on, and now Seb takes over. Connor takes it right back. There's only two series that could have a sweep, and this is one of them. Let's see if they pull it off, and they do. Calgary is done. The second series that could have a sweep is right after them, and it is also a sweep. See you later, Seattle. All right, you know what? We have to show all of these because there's many Game 7s going on here. Carolina Islanders, and it will be the Canes moving on after being down 2-0 in the series, I believe. We have the Oilers in the Wild. And it will be the Edmonton Oilers moving on. Toronto-Tampa, which this series will be long over by the time this video comes out. But I really hope that it goes to seven. Because what a series it has been. And the Toronto Maple Leafs are moving on. Now we have the Stars and the Rangers. And it will be the New York Rangers advancing to round number two. Last but not least, we have... Wait, who even was that? New Jersey's gone. Who are they playing again? <laughs> I didn't look that much. Ah, it was the Winnipeg Jets who are now going up against the Boston Bruins. Okay, Golden Knights Avalanche, Oilers Rangers, and then Canes and Leafs. So without further ado, let's get to simulating this as well. I keep doing that. And why do I keep doing that? Great question. Only one potential sweep, and that will be the Colorado Avalanche and the Golden Knights. Carolina takes a 3-1 series lead. That's huge. The Rangers take a 3-1 series lead, but the Bruins do not. The Jets living to fight another day, keeping it down to a best of three. I mean, I guess even if they lost, they'd still fight another day, but being down 3-1 in a series, that's got to be heartbreaking. Okay, sim to next game. It is, in fact, a sweep. Will Carolina bury the Leafs right now? No, they don't. Game seven between the Jets and the Bees. Let's jump into this one. Simulate it real time. See what's going on. Turn up that sim speed to times eight. And see who will emerge victorious and move on. I was going to say the conference finals, but that's literally the whole point of this video. There is no conferences, so um, I take that back, even though I didn't say it. Scoreless after one. Shots are pretty even, so no team is pulling away in that category. But the Bruins are first on the board. Charlie Macberry's when they get a power play. Can't capitalize on the PP, but they do score right after. Pavel Zaka going to get the second on Hellebuck for this game. 
And the Jets are starting to fall behind in shots as well. Not looking good, but Blake Wheeler with a massive goal to cut the lead in half going into period number three. That could be killer. Zaka, as soon as it starts, but Kyle Connor gets one right back and once again makes it a one goal game. Power play for the Jets. They can't capitalize. Halfway through the third, and it is tied! Nino Niederreiter buries one, and we have ourselves a hockey game here. Holy. Game seven. This is what dreams are made of. Is it going to come to golden goal? It sure is. Here we go. Who's going to be the hero? And it could be either team moving on right now. It is going to be the Boston Bruins, and who else other than Patrice Bergeron? Makes perfect sense. There you go. Your three stars of the game. Let's move on to round number three. In the final four, we currently have three Eastern teams. The Avs are the only West team still left, and I don't think that's going to last for much longer. They're about to get swept, I think. Nope, they got a huge W there. Much needed. All right. Will they be put out now? Yes, they will. Carolina and the New York Rangers does not go to seven. We have a Canes Bruin Stanley Cup final. Actually, I totally forgot about this, but I guess in the bubble they had some weird format, didn't they? Because I think when Montreal, yeah, Montreal played Tampa in the Stanley Cup finals. Let's do it this way. I'm going to simulate up until somebody has three wins and then we will real time sim the rest of the games, which could just be one. Oh no. The Boston Bruins. The Bruins are dummying everybody the only team that gave them a run for their money was the jets other than that it was sweep seven five and now potentially sweep are the bruins just that good i know there's been people telling me to put my playoff bracket out there but i'm not gonna do it until after because i know you guys are gonna think i'm a clown for who i have going to the finals so if i am a clown then I'm not just going to throw that out there for the world to see. <laughs> but if I end up being right, oh boy, you better believe you're going to see it. Natchez with the lone goal of the first period. And the Hurricanes with a much needed lead. But Krejci is going to delete that as if on cue. Gets a goal on Freddie Anderson to make it a 1-1 hockey game halfway through this thing. Five minutes to go in the second. Not a whole lot of action in this one. Seems to be... A pretty defensive battle. Boom. Carolina fighting for their life right now. And that is a good way to do it. Martinuk buries it. And now Stull also gets one. It is a two goal lead for the Carolina Hurricanes. And it looks like they just might live to fight for one more day here in these playoffs. I gotta try and like find a different saying. Because I've said that one too many times now and I already don't like it. A much needed win for the Carolina Hurricanes, but they are not off to a good start in this one. Brad Marchand gets a power play goal to put the Bees up by one. And that is how the first period will end. Let's see if Carolina can get it back here in the second. Or if the Bruins are going to continue to keep up this pressure. And you know, only let Carolina get one game in this best of seven. Let's go! Kakaniemi buries one. It is a 1-1 game. And no, it's not because a shorthanded goal from Brady Shea makes it a 2-1 Carolina lead. But Bergeron's got something to say about that. Ties it up on the PP. And we might see some overtime unless Pacioretty scores on the power play. Slavin buries one. And now we have a series on our hands. Here are your three stars of game number five. Game five. The Canes are going down swinging. The bunch of jerks will not be deleted that easily. But Brad Marchand really making statements in these games. Scoring early on two in a row now. But you know what? That didn't get them to win last time. And Natchez ties it right up power play for the canes and kokaniemi scores again i feel like i've just said his name two different ways um but anyway he scored a goal regardless carolina really putting up a fight here now it looked like they were down and out we had a stanley cup champion but no not anymore now it's anybody's game big goal from trent frederick to start off the third period carolina needs to get this back that's not looking good Bergeron, he is clutch, makes it 4-2. Seven minutes to go, Carolina back against Carolina's back against the wall. I can't speak, you already know that. And there you have it, Zaka with the empty netter. It is a three-goal victory for the Boston Bruins, and they go on to win the Stanley Cup. Here are your three stars. 
Hampus Lindholm, Pasta, and Zaka. The playoffs have ended. That's sad. Never want the playoffs to end. Pretty safe to say that Marchie gets the con Smythe. 24 points in 22 games. Look at McDavid, though. 13 games played, 19 points. What a unit. Pasta was point a game. Bergeron had 20, but yeah, that 10 goals was massive. Scored at very key times. Sveshnikov had a great playoff run as well. Of course, Krejci did. This guy is an absolute freak of nature in these simulations. I don't get it. What a run for Allmark. A 926 save percentage, 218 GAA. Freddie Anderson did well. He had a 920, 246, even though the Canes are running Ronta right now, I think. Georgiev with a 919, a 922 from Hellebuck. Insane performance from this guy, Adam Fox. Point a game. Brent Burns had 16 points in 25 games. McAvoy was 16 in 22. So he did a little bit better there. Lindholm, your first star of that last game, had 13 in 22 games. Well, there you have it. It was a Boston Bruins, Carolina Hurricane Stanley Cup final. The first and second place team in the league. I'm pretty sure that, you know, the 22nd team making the playoffs, it happens in this, NHL 23, but I don't really think that would be the case in real life. Like, it could happen, but... I'd say it's very, very unlikely. So the current playoff format isn't really that bad, but yeah. Anyway, well, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I will see you soon.